What's up, duelers? It's Nerp here, and today I'm going to be going for platinum and ranked. Um, I'm rank six right now, and one more win will vault me into uh, platinum, which is rank five. I'm still trying to get to elite rank zero as fast as I can. Um, today, let's see. So I've been playing a lot of Atruvian and Mechazor lately. Uh, you can go check out the Nerf Streams YouTube channel. There's another couple hour long stream of me playing mostly Mechazor and Ranked. Uh, but I guess since uh, three of the last four um, Duelist videos on this channel have been some kind of Etruvian, I'll go back to my roots with Lionar. Uh, my Lionar deck is updated slightly. I did craft a Arclight Regalia artifact. Um, those things are better when you more than one of them because they stack though. But whatever. It's a really nice card. Um, this is my traditional Lionar with Divine Bond, big creatures, Provoke. So hopefully, I haven't played in a while, so hopefully I'm not rusty with it. We're playing against Tex. Uh, and I get this right away. And I'm going to... Rid of... Both of those. Alright, so he's rank 14. I'm going to keep all the cards I have here. That's pretty good. I'll play my Windblade Adept. So next turn, if I can walk onto this Mana Spring, then I can play Suntide Maiden. If not, I always have a Silver Guard Knight to play with Provoke. What's he doing? He's going up to the corner there. Kaido Assassin. Okay, so we've got to watch out for his backstab stuff. Um, <laughs> so I think I'm gonna go for Super Provokiness. I'm going to go over here, move up, and then I'll put down a Rock Pulverizer and a Silver Guard Knight. Alright. Oh, I probably should have switched that around so I can provoke his general as well. It doesn't really make a difference. Um, yeah, so this guy's provoked now, so there's less of a chance he'll be able to clobber me with backstab. But, you know, it might still happen. I have two Divine Bonds in hand. Um, I would not be able to play at next turn even if I got the mana spring. He's at 25 health. Okay, so... He's going to go ahead and dispel my Silver Guard Knight so it loses two attack as well as its uh, provoke. So it allows him to use his Kaido Assassin to walk over that mana spring and he plays another Kaido Assassin. Alright, Kaido Assassins are really, really scary. Okay, so he dies. Didn't really get to do a whole lot. Now this is at one health, so I can destroy it with my Rock Pulverizer. Um, I have a Shroud now, so I can dispel this Backstab from this Kaido Assassin. I might want to save that for something that would... Um, something that has a, has a more impactful uh, ability uh, to get rid of with the spell. Uh, I think maybe Tex forgot to click on turn. Alright, there we go. So... This guy, he can't really get into the battle. This I can destroy that. I can use my general to destroy his 2-2. Two -two. And then he has that over there. I think I'm going to keep all this stuff in my hand. I like the dispel. I'm just going to play the Sun Tide Maiden this turn. And I'm going to... I'll get rid of one of the Divine Bonds. I'm not going to go for some crazy double Divine Bond play. I can't even do that next turn. Okay, so now we got a Holy Immolation. So does this change things? No, not really. Maybe for maybe for next turn. But this turn, I think uh, we just do what we thought we were going to do. And I'm going to... Go like this. Try to get the zeal from my guys. So you get more attack. Like that. And then I'll 
put down a Sun Tide Meteor. Okay, my, both my General and my uh, Windblade Adept are vulnerable to a backstab, unfortunately. And you really can't predict what Song has going to do. So many spells for them can just make things go crazy. So, I wouldn't be surprised if we lose some stuff this turn. But he doesn't really have much of a board. Okay, he's gonna run that way. Oh yeah, okay, he's doing some crazy stuff. Alright, so that gets plus four too. And oh, actually it's not huge. I mean he doesn't do the backstab, he just uh goes ahead and destroys that that way. Which is annoying because you survive, and I don't have a great way of actually no, I have a ephemeral shroud to destroy that. Dispelling it would bring it down to zero health. And then he puts that there. I think um, I'll show that with my general. Obviously move first so I don't get the backstab. Does it work like that? Does backstab work on the on the defend hit back? I'm actually not sure. Hmm. Well, right now I'm going to get rid of the... I'm actually going to get rid of the divine bond. Double holy immolation. Triple holy <laughs> immolation. Seems like it can be pretty good in the coming turns. So I will play this here, dispel that, so you immediately die. Move you up, destroy the Kaido Assassin, I take three damage on my general, and then move you up, and I can deal four damage, and then I can get a Celerity lion down and I have three holy emulations to heal up and or deal damage and now I get my nice big drops at the right time uh, high hand which looks like it's gonna be pretty huge he has five cards in hand right now and a elix storm blade which is always good seven seven provoke okay man playing Levat lion is just so different from Vitruvian I guess it's not that different from my Mechazord deck because it's still playing a lot of units. But Lionar just feels. I don't know. I feel like Lionar is just more traditional. I play, make plays that I think I should be making. Also, I love being Lionar and having Sundrop Elixirs. I'm always. Whenever I'm playing with my Mechazord deck or my straight up Vitruvian deck, I'm always like, like so low on health because I'm a little too aggressive. And then I'm wishing, like, oh, I'm, I forgot, I'm not lying, or I can't heal myself up. Okay, so he's just gonna play some stuff. Phoenix Fire, what's he gonna destroy? Probably, okay, yeah, he's gonna destroy that. Very well. Lantern Fox, Celerity. So I'm gonna copy that, alright, so he gets two Lantern Foxes, and those have Celerity. So he kills my Celerity dude, and summons two of his own. Uh, luckily for me, I am in a very good uh, spot for a Holy Emulation. So, first of all, I don't think I need three Holy Emulations. Or maybe I do. Maybe a Holy Emulation, Holy Emulation, Holy Emulation will be, uh, pretty good. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get rid of the High Hand. Kinda like the Triple Holy Emulation action. <laughs> Okay. I'll also play this Windblade Adept. So, Holy Immolation. Now I can move my general in to give this the Zeal attack. And I can deal damage with my general, seeing I have almost double his health. And he's down to 10 health, and I have two wind blades, two more holy immolations, and some nice powerful creatures. So this is going well. And it looks like I might be able to finish this match in about 10 minutes, so I might try to squeeze another game into this video. So you can see me get to platinum and a little farther. This match isn't over yet, he still has 10 health. Songhag can mount a comeback if he's lucky. Repulsor Beast, so he's gonna push one of my wind blades out of the way. He's gonna put the one with one health over there, interesting. Celestial Phantom, so that has like death touch almost. Inner focus. Okay, so he's gonna take out that. 
Yeah, so he did a good job of like kind of coming back. Not really though, because I do have more stuff. <laughs> I can play. Like I'm gonna think it's a turn for Holy Immolation. Now the question is, can I win? So let's see. First of all, do I want to get rid of anything? I think I'll have to do that in Holy Immolation. Let's get rid of the Elix Stormblade because I'm going to do Holy Immolation, Immolation play next this turn and then next turn I could do Holy Immolation with my Suntide Maiden. Okay, wait a minute. We might have... No, I don't think that makes a difference. Okay, so. Let's attack there. Let's attack there. Then I'll play down my... Uh, which one? I guess I'll play down the Lion. Because I'm not getting any use out of the Sentinel then. It's just a 2-4. Some lag there. Things are destroyed. And it is his turn. And now he's at 2 health. So I didn't even draw a Tempest yet. I have 3 Tempests in the deck. I have no Holy Immolation right now. I'm surrounding him with a Solarity dude too. He can't really run away. Um, it's going to take some crazy uh, plays for him to mount a comeback in this one. Well, that's going to heal him up slightly. Uh, but can I win? So... If I... Oh yeah, I can easily just win like this. Just Holy Immolation. So... Well played to you, Tex. I'm sorry. I'm sorry it had to end that way. But... Gotta do what I can to rank up. A little winning streak yeah so now i'm platinum um that means that the next thing i have to get to is elite i want to get to elite as fast as i can so i can i was there in alpha and i think i can get there in beta so let's see if i can fit in one more game here lion r again hmm oops i almost chose the starter <laughs> the starter lion r deck uh, let's actually play. Yeah, let's play Lionar again. I mean, my streams on the Nerf Stream Channel are almost all Vitruvian, so if you want to see Vitruvian, you can uh, definitely just head over there and see a lot of that footage. So, I'm playing against Melon Call, whatever his name is, but uh, he was in my stream before, and he's one of like the. I think he's one of the better duelist players, a veteran seen him on the forums and stuff i think so we have our work cut out for us to continue this win streak but i think now that i've reached platinum you don't go below platinum when you lose a game i think when you reach like the next thing like bronze silver gold all that stuff i don't think you go back down so that's good uh but we're still gonna we still have a very real chance of winning this game in this lion or mirror match uh he finally connects and first turn I could play the Windblade Adept or the Azurite Lion. It's a really tough choice, actually. Not sure what I want to do. First of all, I know I'm going to replace the Divine Bond. And I get another 2-drop. Uh, so I th think turn 1, I'd rather play the Azurite Lion, just because wherever you play something, I can kind of reach it. So I'll play the Azurite Lion, and I can like grab a mana, mana uh, spring and then go back and hit him. So it's really nice. So... Now I get another line and a Suntide Maiden. So early on, if you get tons of 2-drops, don't fret. If you don't have big drops, you can just keep playing those 2-drops. Remember in this game, you draw 2 cards per turn. So don't be afraid to play 2 cards per turn. Um, oh, he's rank 1 now. So, okay. Did I say good luck, have fun? See here? Maybe, he has a, maybe he's having connection trouble. Because... I right, know, okay. So, he plays a Silver Guard Knight. So that has Provoke. And I don't have... Oh, I wish I... wish I kept that Divine Bond now. Hmm. I think I'm going to... Let's see, I can get a tie. I can get to four. Uh, I'll get rid of the Lion right now. I want to play both of these Wind Blades. The extra attack I think is really nice. Or I can get a rock pulverizer down. 
Okay, I'm gonna have to take this out somehow, so I'll just start doing that now. Uh, let's see. I'm actually gonna play the rock pulverizer. Yeah. I'll play the rock pulverizer. And I'm going to. Too bad I can't. Reach the general. But I'm gonna. I'm gonna take a lot of damage hitting his three attack Silver Guard Knight. But. I'm doing that because I'm gonna have to deal with this somehow. And now at least he's provoked. So hopefully that means he has to hit this uh, Rock Pulverizer with his Silver Guard Knight. That means we can take that out. So I drew another Sun Tide Maiden and a Divine Bond. Uh, not game changing cards. I'd like since I have a I, th I have enough early units. I think I want to find spells like Holy Immolation. So Melancholia. His general is also provoked. So he can't move around until he destroys that thing, or dispels it. See what he has in mind. Repulsor Beast, that um, that works too. So he's just going to move that somewhere. And he's going to use his guy to destroy my Windblade Adept, so that's a little annoying. And play the Dragonlark. I haven't seen many, many people use Dragonlark. Seems like a little lackluster, but Melancholia probably knows what he's doing. Uh, let's slowly make our way back to the battlefield with our Rock Pulverizer. Oh, I should probably replace first. Um, hmm. Is it possible to play a 4-drop and a 2-drop? No, it isn't. So, I'm going to get rid of a Sun Tide Maiden. No huge need for 2 right now. Okay, and I think I'm gonna stay put. I'll play you, and I'll play the rock pulverizer. It's always nice to provoke a flying guy. I get another sun time maiden, and high hands. So that could just be a giant creature I could play if I want. Yeah, so there again, you saw me, I chose to play two 2-drops two instead of the 4-drop Sun Tide Maiden. So, he played a Repulsor Beast last turn, so there's a less of a chance of having another one this turn, but now you could just have something like Dispel, or, I don't know, be able to destroy it. I'm kind of in a circle around there, like a holy immolation, so hopefully, hopefully that doesn't happen to us. Alright, cool. Doesn't look like he has anything to deal with it. Oh, he does have a Tempest. So that hurts me. He gets a Windblade Adept out. I'm gonna get rid of the Sun Tide Maiden. So now do I want to play the Sun Tide Maiden or the High Hand? Well, the High Hand is going to be plus 4, so it's going to be a 6-7. So I'm going to play 6-7 or a 3-6 uh, that heals at the end of every turn. I'm mean, afraid this is going to get dispelled, the High Hand. Screw it, I'm going to do it. And... I think... I think I'm going to be aggressive with the high hand, but then defensive with my general. And let's see what I draw. A Zurel and a Tempest. Okay, so the Tempest isn't too bad. I hope he kind of puts things on the board and I can go with the Tempest. Zurel, 
He's one of the legendaries just have in the deck. Doesn't really do that much, I mean. It's kind of cool if you can play him and you can get a creature back, but the but the, the the minion you get back is summoned on a random tile and sometimes it doesn't help at all, so. It's there as a seven drop. I rarely play it. Um, I have large drops in my hand right now, so I might just end up playing that anyways. Uh, if he doesn't, if he doesn't deal with this high hand, I do have a divine bond, which would increase his attack to a very high number. Okay, so I'm glad he destroyed a. Oh man, he can still breach my general. I didn't realize that. Oh well, this all he needs to do is destroy the provoke guy. And now you are provoking me. Um, hmm. Is it time? Let's get rid of the not nah, elix. This is a nice provoke that I can provoke. High hand, I can get to thirteen attack. Thirteen attack is a lot. Um, let's go ahead and get rid of the Sun Tide Maiden. Hmm. Alright, yeah, I'm gonna do the Tempest. Now the question is, do I, or do I just play this? I'm going for the Tempest. Going for the Divine Bond Tempest. So I could lose this coming turn really easily. I'm gonna stay right behind you so you can't provoke both of my guys. So just a uh, divine bond from hidden, uh, a divine bond from Melancholia would win the game, and he does have it. So that's gonna be game. I guess I was kind of close to winning. Got him down to five. Oh, now I draw the Sundrop Elixir. So I guess I was unlucky that match. I didn't draw a Sundrop Elixir uh, until so late. So now I'm down. Back to the very beginning of rank 5. So that'll be it for today. Like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more content. Um, uh, hopefully the next video you see me, I'll be Elite Rank 0. So I'll see you next time. Keep on dueling, duelists.